Hi, this is David Davis, and I'm honored to be here with the distinguished Mr. Kieran Hardy, CTO and founder of Tintree. David, it's great to be here. Thanks for joining me. So we've been talking a little bit about uh, you know, how virtualization has changed storage in the past, and then you know, fast forward to today, um, how really virtualization administrators are struggling with uh, storage contention, I.O. problems, and, and you know, so many solutions have arisen today out there, uh, a lot of times using you know, flash storage and sometimes taking advantage of you know, 10 gig ethernet to help alleviate those types of contention. Um, and how Tintree has a, a unique solution that's virtualization aware that's trying to help solve those problems you know, for virtualization admins. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the use cases specifically of, of how Tintree has helped? Sure, sure. So we, so first of all, we, we don't have a single use case, right? Sure. Uh, and so I'll, I'll go through, uh, and I'll, many of our customers are mixing the, the use cases as well. So the first one um, is, is actually uh, test and development. Okay. okay. So um, VMware particularly totally transformed the world of test and development in mm -hmm. terms of being able to make it easy to you know, create and destroy virtual machines for tests, um, for staging, and, and so on. And some of the most aggressive users of virtualization are technology companies and um, financial companies that have, uh, or telcos that have significant um, uh, software that they're writing and, and mm -hmm. testing. And in general, um, what happens there is the faster they can get things done, um, you know, the more it makes a difference to their business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they want it to be done fast. Um, they also want it to be easy to manage, right? right. So, so they want to. They don't want to have to hire somebody to manage their storage. So, what we've seen there is um, that they're often facing challenges with, first of all, performance. Okay, mm -hmm. so the thing, you know, their tests are not going fast enough. Their developers are not able to get things done. Um, with as many cycles as they, they would like. Um, and there's often quite a significant pain point. Um, they also often have a challenge with management of those systems. Um, and um, it can be pretty cumbersome to actually um, reconfigure the storage. So what we have done with our um, VM aware storage is we've come in with something that first of all kind of allows you to forget about the performance issue, right? So there's a lot of performance associated with what we do. So you can put a large number of VMs on the system. You can create and destroy things um, very, very rapidly, which is obviously tar part of the, the workflow that you have in a, in a development and test environment. Mm -hmm. um, and you also um, have, you know, one of the things that's common is cloning um, of different, from different templates, so people making copies. Um, so they really like um, the VAI capabilities that we have as part of our product. So you can actually, you know, pretty much within a, a few seconds, create an entire copy of a VM. The other thing that's a big deal is, um, you know, not having to worry about management. And if there is some kind of something is running slowly, being able to have great visibility um, yes. on what's actually going on within the environment. Um, and the final thing, actually, and, and this was something that we, uh, we I would say we, we weren't initially thinking of, um, but it was a use case that we've seen as being quite significant with customers, was remote cloning, right? So there's obviously mm -hmm. um, many environments have multiple sites, right? So you might have a, a site here, you may have a site offshore, you might have a site across, um, across the country, and you'd like to be able to send things um, you know, a particular VM mm. over the wire yeah. and really, really quickly. Um, so we have a capability, a replication capability, which allows you to do remote cloning. Um, so you can actually take a VM, you can have it individually sent over, it's deduplicated and compressed, nice. reduces bandwidth by 95% relative to what you usually have. Um, and it's really transformed the way that people are, are actually able to do business. So we have people, um, you know, companies like Ultimate Software, F5, um, that are using us um, in this um, development and test environment. So the second one, um, and I think many companies 
uh, claim this one, new companies um, have this one as a use case is VDI, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. So we were actually very skeptical about VDI initially and were pretty careful that we were not building a product that was um, exclusively for VDI, but there's a lot of it out there. Yeah. Um, and um, what we see, um, obviously you need performance, right? So flash mm -hmm. storage has really transformed um, VDI, but there's really a lot more of it, a lot more to it, um, than just performance. Um, so specifically,